I don't know how well it's picking it up, but that's where we ended up tonight. Uh, what's called Samoa. One of my favorite places on earth. So we have the Pacific Ocean on one side of our truck. We're on a very thin spit of sand that encircles the outside of the bay and makes it the bay. We're looking back on California's old capital. Just past the old pulp mill. I'm going to go to sleep for the night. So, twinkle, twinkle, little city. Ah, it's going to be a good day if it stops raining, or not, it'll be a good day anyways. Yeah, so I don't know if that was recording, we are awake, it is a new day, we are second day of a road trip, third day, second day, technically. There are shorebirds and wading birds and flocks out on the water, that is the city townish home of that is Eureka across the way um, we're out on the point of land that separates the bay from the ocean a strip of sand dunes um, yeah we're gonna drive out there's been lots of stuff going on here it is raining I did sleep in the back of the truck I am waking up and trying to get used to the fact that it's a new day so give me a second I'll be right back with you. Good morning. The end of this whole peninsula is public land and uh, this is a huge old uh, Coast Guard station. It's got the cypress trees and the look of everything. It's out here at the tip of the point so they can jet right out the, uh, the mouth of the bay. And this is all public land. It's um, they shut the gates out here at seven o'clock p.m. But this is all off-roading zone for uh, ATVs and that type of thing. So a bunch of three-wheelers and four-wheelers out here. And yeah, public public land on uh, Pacific Ocean. That's pretty hard to find these days. Everything in California is turned into state property or county property. These are big old beaches that sometimes are full of people. There's nobody on them now. And it just disappears off into the sand. You have all the ATV roads winding all through the dunes. There's areas of this that are protected. And this actually goes out to the little mouth, the mouth of the bay. And these are all little eddy inlets that were man-made with low jetties and stuff over the years now mostly swimming beaches but the pilings and posts and cement and stuff that are left speak of times when it was more industrial this was a a spot where a lot of logging and timber and I mean this was the outside of the bay of California's capital We've had Auburn be our capital, we've had Eureka be our capital, and we have had Sacramento be our capital now. The campsites out here, the day use areas are beautiful. There's beaches wrapping all the way around here. Great fishing because the entire ocean has to pass through a small channel to get in and out of the bay. And huge cypress and bathrooms and all that. So. so this is what I'm thinking because we've driven all the way north. I'm thinking, man, you're way too up in my face. Because we've driven all the way north, because we don't want to waste time, I'm looking at metal detecting in the rain. And it's intensifying rain. I'm hoping we're not going to be like socked in for like three days of heavy rain on the coast. That's when it's a bummer to have gone out in your vehicle. But... Yeah. I hate vlogging in front of people. But, uh, we are right by, well, we're on the north coast. We've come out to, to the ocean again. So anywhere above here that we 
drive to and climb down, there's all these little beaches just laden with jaspers and chirts and jades and agates and beautiful, beautiful things. Uh, they literally gravel, they gravel, they literally gravel the roads with the stuff up here. Um, the northwest of the United States from mid central, well, there's gems and minerals everywhere, but I'm telling you, the stuff that you see me finding down where I'm at just gets richer, bigger, more abundant, more profuse. You know? Okay, this part is closed. I guess they're rebuilding the jetty. So, um, there was a historic train track. Well, not historic, but at, in history, when this was a uh, more industrial harbor, probably when it was still the capital of California, and there was more timber around here and stuff. There still is, but there was way more. Um, there was a railroad. We're on a very long spit of land that goes back. There's a bay here. I'll give you a little aerial shot here. And then aerial shot here and then we're on this long spit of land and then this here is the channel that leads out to the ocean this is all the pacific out here this is the little channel that feeds into the bay the entire bay yeah look at the green stone here just used as paving that's awesome um definitely a serpent tonight maybe uh it's green, it's compact, it's quartzy. But, uh, so there was a railroad. This was cemented, the entire interior of this ran out and then ran all the way out to a long jetty at the point here. And uh, there was a little railroad on it for moving cargo back and forth. It sounds like they're restoring the jetty. I wanted to show you the channel. I'm thinking that we're actually gonna go up the coast and give this a chance to break and then uh, maybe metal detect, which would be another video. This is the start of a rock hounding video. As rough as the start is. And uh, the jetty's out there, so it sticks straight out into the ocean, into the Pacific. The Pacific is just running all along here um, this is the channel where ships go in and out. There's actually a huge current you can see to it right now. And then that's the entire bay that sweeps that way and that way. And yeah, beautiful stuff everywhere. I guarantee it just from first glance, everything here is a, just a, Bright rainbow colored mineral. So the top of the cement structure that you see here used to have a railroad running all along it. There's been shipwrecks on the shore. Um, the ship is still visible sometimes when the sand gets eroded enough. Just chunks of, oh, uh, there's a railroad spike. Super corroded, but came from right over there so pretty cool you know um, just to start with it's one of my favorite areas not to mention it's public public romping zone so if you have ATVs or you want to fish or whatever it's a good place to do it yeah look at all these different minerals and metal these road trips I get very divided between what I'm supposed to be on but as far as, you know, are we metal hunting? Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Looks like a schist. And you can see... Looks like a calcite running this way. I'll try and zoom in. can never tell if this thing's focusing. And then quartz all through it 
and then it's been heated and bent. Ah, the rain actually let up for a second. That's pretty cool. That is not cement, that's a natural conglomerate. That's pretty cool. I'm calling it a conglomerate because they all look like little rounded pebbles to me. Yeah, good chance to look inside a lot of the heart stones of the mountains because they were hauled out by quarry people and, and dumped here to make all these projects to make the breakwaters and stuff. So, and little pebbles, we're gonna get on some real jaspery, well, knock on wood. It's a nice little piece of the blue, I wanna call it a blue schist going into just something beautiful there. We're gonna spend much more energy this year looking at stuff and trying to identify it properly. Um, I'm hoping to work with a lot of the other creators in this field um, on that because I'm getting, the more books I get and the more conflicting everything is, I'm like, okay, this is really a relatively new science. It really, really is. Um, a lot of it's had some fudging around. Uh, I think it's a uh, good time to look at everything in the world with a fresh set of eyes. But yeah, I see so many conflicting things, one book to the next, that's one thing to look at. I think it, half the time it sets uh, people against each other in what they think they know because they're being told different things. So. Holy has one of his things, the, the sturgeon law. You know how when you're fishing for sturgeon, there's only a certain size that you can keep. Not too small, not too big, just the keeper size. I think that was the, this is like my layman's version of the theory was that, you know, humans come up with really insightful, genius things. Um, but there's never probably been any singular human that was totally 100% right. So it's like the Sturgeon Law. If you're reading an entire book that somebody wrote, they're probably wrong in a few spots. You know, everybody's bound to be wrong a little bit. So you just pick out that small pieces of everything that you know is the truth. And uh, don't believe everything you read. The Sturgeon Law. Love me some round ocean stones. The nice part about a lot of them too is that when you cut them, they're already shaped nice for a piece of jewelry. Some just basic brown chert. When you read about chert in the book, most often they'll just describe this. Here's some brown chert, but comes in every color and shade and they grade it in with flint and grade it in with calcetiny. Look at that. Contrast brown. Oh. Going in the pocket. That was brought here. These are the chert layers mixing in with all this green stone. And you know, some of these might be paradotites. They carve so deep into the hills around here. Um, and in any quarry that they hit all the layers. And yeah, when you open up a book and you look up green minerals and trying to identify things from pictures, if you've done that, you know, it's extremely hard. I love just the cross sections of regular, you know, non-precious, non-precious minerals. Look at the brachia patterns in that where the quartz filled it back in. Okay, what I was gonna try and do is leapfrog out, show you the actual ocean. Well, the channel is better. <laughs> Tractor treads from long ago stuck in the cement. Well, who knows how long ago. 
Yeah, this has been re-poured and re-poured, but you can see sections of it where uh, there's pieces of railroad. And I know that it was a railroad because I met an old fella out at the end of this one day and I was like, wow, this looks like a ship here. And he's like, it is a ship. There's a shipwreck stuck in the sand. This is an old railroad. Look here, I think some of the planking is actually showing through the cement. Again, we got to be careful up here because the California coast geologic marker the California coast has seen some crazy freak waves this year and cost some some lives already these are timbers sticking out of the cement so there's proof and the original old school cement pours you with the shelves so they just use re aggregate off the beach here to mix in probably with the Portland cement. Those have been there for a while. And then yeah, it's completely lost in some spots. Woo, this is slippery, this is all seaweed. The farther north you go in California, the more it's like the area, how I remember it when I was growing up, just um, empty with abundance, mind-blowing abundance of everything. My parents were fishing people. We drove up and down this coast. We camped and fished non-stop. We rock hunted non-stop. Um, here I am. This, my friends, is where the sidewalk ends. And then it picks up again out there and heads all the way out. There's an actual working pier at one point. the channel. Oh, these rocks are all bad. There's nobody out here if I fall in so I'm not going to be totally stupid even though I think I could get out. Tide pools. And then the town of Eureka directly across from us. The Mad River running in above us. And the Eel River below us. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful piece. Look at that. Just the mix. That one. You're going to get some false, uh, false mossiness out of there. See the nice of it? The nice, the nice. It's kind of bent, so you can tell it's been metamorphosized. It's been heated up and crushed. The more times we say these things and think about them and look at stuff, the more we'll understand them and the more we understand about all the basic stuff, the more we'll be able to distinguish when we're on to the good and find it for ourselves without having to rely upon spots that are already discovered and potentially played out because it's my belief and, and the belief of 90% of the people that I talk to in the field that we've just barely discovered any deposits in any category so whenever you hear oh this deposit was played out that was just the deposit that they discovered back then so get out there, get rich. Remember that the mineral, the, the people who have traditionally controlled precious things, especially spices, gems, gold, run like the De Beers, you know what I mean? It's, it's do whatever it takes, manipulate information, downplay others, upplay your own stuff, so. There's a lot of that going on. Beware, beware. If you think it's beautiful, other people probably will too. And people are probably already know that it is, and they're probably already on to that. And 
and then the dunes. Endless ATV riding out here. They actually built a drag strip out here because everybody would drag race on the crappy road and get hurt. So they built a drag strip. They built a huge, probably the best, I don't know. Maybe there's others out in the desert, but an awesome ATV training course. It's just like a playground. You know, they did it right. You can't stop people from having fun, but you can try and help them do it in the best, safest way you can, and that's usually in a spot that you go ahead and make for them. Generally, that's what I see. I do know the secret of these dunes, too. My sister went to the College of the Redwoods here. Uh, have family friends that have lived up here and stuff. Have friends that are still living up here, being very industrious. I'm very proud of you. Um, and yeah, I know about these dunes. For those of you who have wandered around in the early mornings after it's rained on a day like this, and seen what occurs, the magic and the wonder. It's a blessing. So, it turned into crazy side and we're hiding under the trees here for a second, but we're gonna go ahead and walk out, look at the inside, and I think we're gonna drive for a bit with the heater on. I looked at the forecast, it's gonna rain all day, not so much tomorrow. Tomorrow might be metal detecting day. Today might be a bunch of watching Nate get really wet, rock hounding. South Bay, Eureka, North Bay, Arcata. We're gonna go up the coast, look for county parks. There's a lot of them where you can get down to rocky beaches and little coves and uh, yeah, wait for those less rainy breaks in between and then we'll come back here. It has picked up, it said it's gonna be 25. I'd say it's all of a sudden 30. Um, I just saw a cutter leave the Coast Guard station skipping across the water headed out of that channel. So there are probably people out there that turned around and said we need to get in and they are having a hard time getting in. So hopefully everybody will be okay. I am under big trees for shelter. I'm going to get out from under them. <sighs> we might go to Moonstone Beach. That might be where you see me next. Apparently there's Moonstone on it. So this got a little more intense than 25 miles an hour. Side of the Eureka Bay. That's not the ocean. 